In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front hub bearing on this Ram 1500. Let's get into it. Using a 22 millimeter socket, we're going to take the lug nuts off. I'll remove the wheel. Using a 21 millimeter socket, take these two caliper bracket bolts out. We're going to take the bracket and the caliper off together. And slide the caliper off the rotor with a brake caliper hanger going to hang it from the upper control arm out of the way and grab the rotor just slide it off if it's stuck on there you can take a hammer just hit in these locations slide it off using a 36 millimeter socket take the axle nut off just going to use a large punch just hammer the axle in just make sure it separates from the hub. Now we're gonna take the wiring harness for the wheel speed sensor off. Just use a trim tool. Let's pop out the clips. Right there. Off the brake hose. Pop that one out. And these two under here, under the inner fender liner. Now we can disconnect the connector. You can just use a pick or the trim tool. Just pop this little lock back, push down, and disconnect it. Take a 21 millimeter socket, loosen this nut up. that so it's loose and just leave a couple threads on there. You can use a special front end tool to press the ball joint out of the knuckle or just giving it a tap with a hammer. And that will separate right there. Pull this down. You can take the nut off the rest of the way. And just slide that out. And grab the axle and just push it through a little bit. If you need to, give it a little tap. Then you can access the bolts on the back side using a 21 millimeter socket. Take those out. And the last one on the other side. The hub may just slide off of the knuckle, but more likely than not, it's gonna be stuck on there. So we're just gonna temporarily slide the ball joint back in and just put the nut on. Then we can hammer the back side. Taking the hammer, just hammer it out. Slides right out and take the shield off. Just going to take a wire brush, just clean up some of the corrosion. I'm just going to take a thin coat of anti seize, just coat the area where there was corrosion, just to prevent that in the future. Take the shield. Slide the ABS wire through the shield. Get that lined up. Slide it over the axle. Take one of the bolts. If 
you can try to get it past the axle, get that started. All right, we got one of those bolts started, but before we put the other ones in, I'll just take the ball joint out again, just tip it forward, and get the other bolt started. And we'll start tightening those down. Now we're going to torque those bolts to 134 foot-pounds. And the last one. Get that underneath there. There we go. Now line the upper ball joint up. Get the nut started. I'm just going to use a pry bar, pry that down, tighten up the nut. And if the stud starts spinning, you can use a 10 millimeter wrench on the bottom and then a 21 millimeter ratchet wrench if you need to. That's snug. Now you want to torque this nut to 40 foot-pounds. And then you want to go an additional 200 degrees. If you have a torque angle meter, that's going to help. If not, do the best you can. That's good. Push the push pins in place. That in the retainer there. Plug the connector in. Lock it down. And push that through the inner fender well. the axle nut on. Snug that up first. To prevent the hub from spinning, just take a pry bar, go in between the studs, and we're going to torque it to 185 foot-pounds. That's good. Just going to spray this with a little anti-seize, just a thin coat. Good. With the rotor, if you need to, you can clean the back side with a wire brush. If it's got some rust on it, slide the rotor on. Temporarily, I'm going to put a lug nut on just to hold the rotor in place. Take the caliper off the hanger. Make sure the hose isn't twisted. Slide it over the rotor. the bolts in, get those started, and snug those down. Torque those bolts to 130 foot-pounds. Take the lug nut off. Put the wheel on. Put the lug nuts on. Snug those down. Now we're going to torque these in a cross pattern to 130 foot-pounds to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check.
when only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.